Retrospect has the ability to configure your volumes and see what disks are available for backup. To do that, you can go to Configure and you can go to Volumes on the left, and it'll show you the same sort of thing you see in a source selection window. So we can choose our C drive, and we can actually browse it. We can choose a specific folder and browse it and see what's on there. Even though we can go in and check these things, it really does not have an effect in this area. But what I can do in any browser window is I can do a find, control F. And so if I want to do a find for something that ends at a specific file name or has a specific file name, then I can use this to search through the, uh, the browser window and then maybe mark or unmark those items or just identify whether those items are on the disk I expect them to be on. In addition, in this window, I can uh, create subvolumes or configure subvolumes. Uh, I can go out to the Microsoft Network and configure Microsoft Networking, which we can look at later. Um, I can look at uh, the creation of new folders and new groups. I can also rename things. Now this is kind of a, a scary area. I can choose like this Dell folder and go to this rename option and it doesn't just rename it inside of Retrospect. It goes out to the physical drive and renames that folder to whatever name I type in from within this window. The same goes for uh, this erase icon. If I highlight a disk or I highlight a folder and I click the erase, it physically goes out to the drive and erases the actual disk or erases that actual folder and it will be very fast. Now we always give a warning before doing it. So if I choose my documents and I click on the erase icon, it says really erase that folder, all of its contents will be permanently removed and then I have cancel as the default. So it's important to keep in mind that there are options inside this window that it can be destructive if you're not paying attention to what you're doing. The purpose of this window really is for configuring and for maintenance. When you're trying to identify you know, what's on a hard drive at a given moment in time, or you want to see whether something is available for retrospect to be backed up, you can go to configure volumes and that's going to give you the ability to really look at that and figure out what to do about it. Now you can go in here you can get properties on things. And so if you right click and get properties on a folder, it'll tell you information about that folder. With network disks, you can configure them for automatic login, uh, for, schedule, for logging into them at certain times, and so we'll look at those in a little bit more detail at a later time.